Hello everyone, welcome back to Casino Co. Today we're going to be reading Just a Story 3, The Bonus Chapters. Chapter 2, The Indoraptors Casino, by yours truly, Mason Charles Haggett. Ethan has a feeling of recognition to the area he is in. He almost feels like he used to play in this giant house that is now called the Goldie the Casino Raptor Realm. But whose house could it be? He takes a few steps and realizes that it's an entire ecosystem of dinosaurs. Wow, I heard that the dinosaurs here were smart animals with jobs and other special specialities. But I didn't quite imagine it to be like this. Yep, I couldn't have either bucko until I saw it with my own eyes. Anyways, I want to get going. Hold on, hold on. I want to enjoy my surroundings a little first. After all, I don't have any memory beyond when I first landed in the Forgotten Realm. Ethan S. stares into the distance at the large mountain-sized furniture and all the huge plastic dinosaurs walking around, having conversation with each other. He walks over to a stream of water that somehow exists and stares at his reflection. Man, am I handsome. Nah, it kind of looked like the battle pass. Anyways... You've never been outside the Forgotten Realm, have you? Ethan S. Yeah. Well, this is going to be quite the experience for you then. Narrator. Isaac was not used to seeing Ethan being so dumbfounded because he was once the king in the universe he came from. But oh well, it's better he doesn't remember or else it would ruin him. Ethan S. Let me guess. You weren't supposed to take me here, were you? Oh uh, no. In fact, Charlie doesn't even know I'm here. Anyways, we should get going. Might I ask where? I kind of want to go to this mysterious force field called the Fourth Wall that guards what's beyond. Ethan S. And what exactly is beyond? I don't know. Why do you think we're go doing this in the first place? Good point. Ethan is very worried about what they are getting themselves into. And how exactly do we get past the fourth wall? Oh, you'll see. First, we need to go to the Indoraptors Casino. Why do we need to go to the Indoraptors Casino? But it was already too late. Isaac teleported them right in front of the casino. Ethan is startled from the instant change in the atmosphere, from the peaceful stream of water, and now being surrounded by the bright and booming casino, with loud music surging from it. It's a huge building with many fluorescent glowing lights surrounding the sign that reads the Indoraptors Casino. Along the path leading into the casino are tall palm trees swinging back and forth in the wind. Wow. Man, I love this place. This place is the best, I'm telling you. You have no idea how many times Charlie has had to drag me out. Ethan S. Yeah, I don't think I want to know. Anyways, why are we here? To get me a new sports car, brah. How could I expect anything less from you? They walk up to the clear glass door where they can see the chaos that is going on inside. Isaac barges through the door as he yells, What's up, nerds? All the dinosaurs in the establishment look at him in disgust. It is beautiful inside. Ethan can't help but to look around. There are many slot machines and poker tables, and the carpet is a beautiful soft texture of red. The walls are wooden color, and there are three staircases leading to the same room that says CEO above a golden vault. However, there is a permeating smell of alcohol and smoke in the building. You better get me m enough money to rebuild my house, Isaac. What? Sorry, I'm deaf. I can't hear you. Oh, really? You're deaf now? Wow, I totally believe you. Then the golden vault swings open as a tall, imposing dinosaur with a golden stripe and red eyes comes followed by a fat guy with no shirt wearing blue overalls and a red hat. The big one slowly walks down the stairs as the one with the red hat clumsily follows behind. Everyone that was gambling or playing the slots now stops to watch the imposing figure walk towards Isaac and Ethan. Ethan S. stands his ground and looks the tall, dark, ominous figure right in the eyes. While well, Isaac seems to be completely fine, he stops in front of them and puts out his palm facing them with a grin on his face as Isaac suddenly slaps the hand. Hey, Goldie, how you doing, man? Long time no see. 
The two jump up in the air and chest bump each other. Isaac almost goes flying into the wall from the impact, but teleports onto the ground in front of Goldie. I'm doing great, man. Why has it been, like, a year since I last saw you? Didn't you used to come here, like, every day, week? Goldie takes a, his pipe out of his mouth as a huge fume of smoke comes out directly on Ethan's face. Hey, watch where you're smoking that thing. Oh, my apologies. Next time I'll release it on Isaac's face. Hey, Goldie. Anyways, sorry. I didn't see ya. Are you a friend of Isaac's? Ethan is quite angry of Goldie not noticing him due to height because he is literally five inches taller than Isaac, making him six foot. Why, yes, I am. Goldie, oh, okay, cool. It's a pleasure to meet you. Goldie puts out his hand for a handshake. Ethan, worried of what's going to happen, puts his hand in Goldie's... He just barely manages to meet the intensity of Goldie's Jurassic handshake. Whew. Hey, Mario, how about you introduce yourself to him? The Fitness Grand Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20-meter pacer test will begin in 10 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. Beep! A signal lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Ding! Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Huh? Actually, it was 30 seconds. How do you know that? Oh, Dr. Gage made me memorize this. Oh, okay, let me repeat it again. Ethan! <gasps> The Fitness Grand Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20-meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear the signal gets cut off. Goldie smacks him in the side of the head with, a sh with the shotgun at the end of his tail, sending him flying onto one of the slot machines. The dinosaur that was playing on it angrily gets up and leaves. Anyways, that's Mario. Yeah, he is totally not annoying. Yeah, he had a great sense of humor, not being sarcastic. Totally not being sarcastic. Then, something begins to ring in Goldie's black vest as he takes out his phone. It was nice talking to you guys, but we gotta enjoy but we gotta go. Enjoy your stay. Oi, Mario! Come on! Yahoo! Mario jumps out of the now-destroyed slot machine and follows Goldie up the stairs, where the golden vault door closes behind them. Well, they are some weird people, right, Isaac? Isaac? Narrator. Isaac was already off at the slot machines. How much money do you have? Two dollars. Why? Ethan checks his pockets. Is that my two dollars? Maybe. He sticks it in the machine. Well, there goes my two dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars come out, comes out of the slot machine. Holy crap! Yeah, let's just say there's a reason people don't like me here. I better get all that saying that it was my two dollars. What were you saying? Isaac is somehow standing in front of a new golden sports car with blue fumes painted on the sides of it, shaking a Syat's hand, which looks to be the car salesman. Ethan is struck with confusion. His mouth is open with shock as he questions his very existence. The Syat's walks out with 500k. Should I even ask? Nah. He pulls a can of Dr. Pepper out of his coat and chugs the can. He then throws it on the red carpet, staining it. Monolophosaurus janitor. You know, this carpet probably costs more than the education. Isaac. Actually, I was a judge, so according to my calculations, you have no room to talk. <laughs> he stomps off angrily as he picks up the can and throws it away. Blech. Anyways, let's go. Ethan S. gets in the car as they drive off to the fourth wall. All rights reserved to Casino Co.